Hi guys, welcome to Amy's Cooking. I am super thrilled to share with you another classic delicious Vietnamese dish, bún bò huế. This spicy beef noodle soup is very popular in Vietnamese cuisine and can be found on most Vietnamese menus. Granted, it's not as well known as pho, but it's definitely a must try. Speaking of pho, if you haven't yet seen my video on that, make sure you check it out. So bún bò huế broth is very rich and deep in flavors. It has a very refreshing aroma from the lemongrass as well. It's served with rice noodles, different types of meat, and varieties of different fresh veggies and mints. Now everyone might have a little bit of a different take on how to make it and what gets included, but overall I think it's somewhat versatile and adjustable to your liking. With that said, the most important element is still the broth. I hope you guys will like my take on it, but before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button so you will be notified when I post new videos. So for the broth, obviously we need to talk about the different types of meat. The name bún bò huế implies beef, but you can also include pork as well. As a matter of fact, some people do use pork bones for the broth. Here I have beef shanks, oxtails, and pork hocks. The amount of each um, of the ingredients are listed in the description box below the video. So when making soup-based recipes, I'm very particular about cleaning the meat. Make sure you soak the meat in a little bit of salt water and rinse it well. Once it's clean, add it to a large pot and cook it on high heat. It needs to be parboiled for 10 to 15 minutes. We will then remove the meat and rinse it again. This time, make sure it's really, really clean. You have to rinse it maybe underwater several times to get all the impurities off of it. This really helps to drastically reduce the amount of impurities in the broth when you simmer it over hours and it will also give the soup a cleaner taste and smell. We will now add the cleaned parboiled meats to a larger pot. I'm using 10 liters of water today. I do cook for a larger family, so just scale it down if you're making less. We will be boiling this meat for one hour to soft, soften up the meat and also sweeten the broth. After about an hour, add in the uh, fresh lemongrass stalks. You do need to smash the lemongrass stalks some to help release more of its fragrance. How much to add really depends on you, but for me, the more the better. And also add in one whole white onion as well. That also helps to sweeten up the broth. This is the seasoning I use for the bún bò huế. You can buy this at any Vietnamese grocery stores. Now let's prepare the aromatic sauté for the broth. In a saucepan on medium heat, add in about one third of a cup of cooking oil. Wait until the oil is warm before adding in the ingredients. We will be sauteing garlic, shallots, dry chili peppers, and also the bún bò huế seasoning together. Mince each of these ingredients finely before frying and only saute it for a few minutes. We don't want to saute it too long because it can get burnt. Add a little bit more oil to the mixture if it gets too thick, but make sure you are continuously stirring the ingredients to prevent, again, it from burning. Add in one cup of broth as soon as you start to smell the aromatics and continue to stir for another minute or two. Now pour your uh, everything into the pot. This is looking already incredible. The color of the broth is perfect. The entire kitchen smells so good. At this point, continue to cook the broth, but we do want to remove the meat as soon as it gets to the texture you prefer. Doing this will help prevent the meat from getting overcooked. You can add it back in later once the broth has been seasoned and let it soak in the flavor at that point. The oxtail pork hocks you can leave as is, but the shanks will need to be cut into thin slices. Okay. So moving on to the shrimp paste, not everyone adds it um, to the broth. You can add it later directly to your bowl if you prefer that method. I like this method better because it helps to enhance the broth. It gives it a deeper dimension of flavor for sure. You can add the shrimp paste directly to the broth without boiling it. However, I prefer to cook it for a few minutes. Bring it to a boil and then remove from the heat. Now skim off the top layer as much as you can, then set it aside for a few minutes. 
you will notice that the paste will start to settle to the bottom of the pot and there's going to be a layer of clear liquid on top. Now take that clear liquid um, and filter it through a strainer. This is the only part that we're going to use, just that top layer. Now as you can see here, um, once this the top layer has been collected this is what's left and i really don't like to use this part of it because it just makes um the aroma a little bit too strong it kind of takes away some of the other um smells so this is just the preferred method now take that uh, liquid and pour it back into your bumbo white broth you will also notice that the top layer of the broth contains all that aroma aromatic saute oil and the chili peppers. It's pretty spicy, so if you're making this for kids or anyone that doesn't like spicy food, then go ahead and remove this top layer and just um, set that aside. You can add that back into the individual bowls for anyone who prefers it to be a little bit more spicy. Um, so this is what it looks like and you just add a little bit to each bowl. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and season the broth. The amount of seasoning that I'm adding in the video may seem a lot less than what's listed in the recipe. That's because I was adding it in a little at a time to get the exact measurement for a total of 10 liters of broth. So once you have removed the meat, add in more water to equal 10 liters of broth because that is the amount you will need for the uh, this particular recipe. You just need a little bit of fish sauce, sugar, salt, and vegetable seasoning, and obviously adjust it to your liking. Okay, let's talk about veggies and herbs. They are essential to a good bowl of bumbo whey. Uh, these are some basic things that I have included, but you can add whatever you like. I have here some scallion, uh, which I will later cut into small pieces, fish mince, another type of mince, cilantro, um, we've got some uh, onions, lemon, uh, chili peppers, bananas, blossoms, and also lettuce. So all of these greens together is what really enhances the bumbo way. Um, it just gives it so much more texture and flavor to the dish. So the um, Banana blossom is sometimes difficult to find, and so if you are not able to find that, you can actually substitute it with some purple cabbage, and that will work as well. Okay, so all you have to do is just give all these veggies a nice good rinse, and then you can set it aside and let it dry while we start to prepare the noodles. So this is the particular brand of noodle that I use. Um, it's dry noodles, so you do have to boil it for a little while. Just bring your pot to a boiling point and then you're gonna cook about 15 to 17 minutes, but do check on it and stop when it's um, self to your liking. The next following couple of items I like to also include in my bowl of bumbo wei. You can add them, them if you like. It's totally up to you. Um, this is steamed pork patty. They can be purchased at any Asian grocery stores. I really do like the taste of them with this dish. They are pre-cooked, so you all you have to do is warm it up and cut them into thin slices like I'm doing here. I also included fried pork patties. These are even more delicious. Again, just heat them up and cut them into small thin strips. Lastly, you see here, this is the beef shank that we've been cooking. Um, so they will also need to be cut into thin slices and that sort of completes the meat part. Okay, I think at this point we are uh, ready to assemble our bowl of bumbo whey. So begin by adding in the rice noodles, obviously, and uh, now add in the pork hocks, the oxtails, and also the thinly cut um, beef shanks that we just sliced up and then you'll also along with that add in the pork patties the the, the fried pork patties and also the steamed pork patties okay so to um 
you know, the side of the bowl, you want to add in different types of veggies to your liking and then top it off with some scallions, some onions and cilantro. Now pour in the broth and there you have it. A wonderful, delicious, mouth-watering bowl of Bumba Wei. Again, all the ingredients are listed in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoy this video and will give this recipe a try. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, hit the notification button so you'll be notified when I post my next video. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you so, 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 so much for uh, watching this video.